our mission statement is to improve veteran health outcomes. So that might mean uh, shifting a different direction and telling a veteran that entrepreneurship might not be for them. Uh, financially, not uh, all veterans are capable of starting a business. There are some financial burdens that may happen just from starting a business, whether it's producing a prototype, doing a website. So there are costs incurred in becoming an entrepreneur. So some vets just, you know, financially you aren't ready for it, or they just don't have the drive and motivation at some point. Some might see it as, well, if I can't get a job with an entrepreneurship, but if they don't know what that entails, it's hard for them to work hard every day without a paycheck, without uncertainty that this will succeed. So it's not for everybody, uh, but if we can help them better improve their outcome by sending them to another organization that can help them uh, provide them a job, help work on resume skills, things like that, then we've done our job. So this is what we refer to as our bowling alley. Uh, this will be room for expansion. So as we grow, we'll be able to bring other vets, uh, other workstations through here. Uh, but for now, it's a place where during seminars and networking events, we can bring upwards to 300 uh, people through here uh, to look at different, uh, different companies that are in the program, different speakers. Well, roughly, 75 to 100 people can plan on how we maneuver our tables. But we run all of our seminars, uh, guest speakers in here. Um, what we do on a monthly basis is hold roughly three or four different workshops, everything from accounting to marketing, uh, management, operations, and all the vets will come here. And how many vets do you have right now in the program? Uh, we've got roughly 40 to 50 that are very active, and a total of now about 100. 40 that have applied to the program since April 15th of this year. Okay, so the entry started, he was one of the first vets we had. Before any of this was in here, we had four folded chairs and uh, tables. He came in on the very first day and he's been here since. And so he has just been really a pioneer for vets themselves, helping the vets get acclimated in the environment here. Uh, he actually took a little bit Myself to figure out really what this space means. So um, I'm just wondering if you could like tell me about your company, Twicketer. Sure. Just told about that. Um, what's the business venture with that? Uh, well, Twicketer is a uh, mobile ticketing, mobile coupon, mobile voucher company. Uh, we were actually in beta for about a year uh, last year. Uh, we've done events for uh, Diddy, South by Southwest, um, uh, CeeLo Green, uh, a lot of fun stuff, uh, and we're. Fun. And uh, the guys here at uh, Vet Transfer have been uh, very helpful in a number of ways by uh, helping uh, refine the business model, um, the uh, uh, business strategies, and uh, positioning us uh, for an uh, influx of uh, capital from the right uh, uh, VCs. Uh, we also have another company that uh, recently uh, launched about three weeks ago uh, called Celebrity App Labs. We build uh, apps for celebrities, hence the name Celebrity App Labs. And uh, our first client is uh, Judge Joe Brown.